Okay, so a couple days ago, I was looking through my YouTube comment section and uh, I, I noticed a lot of you guys requesting for me to do a setup tour. Before we begin today's video, make sure to leave a like on it. Let's see if we could smash 1,000 likes since uh, it's not a Fortnite video. I, I really don't expect it to do very well. Also, make sure to go down in the comment section down below and drop a comment of anything you think would help improve my setup and uh, make it look even better than it is now. Anyways, uh, I I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Uh, le let's begin. All right, to start off, we uh, we, we basically got my door, you know, nothing too special, just a regular door. But what is cool is that uh, I actually have my own sticker. My logo is literally on the door, which overall looks pretty good. After going inside of my room, literally right in front, you, you have my bed in the, in the I guess, the right corner, as well as my setup in the left corner, which we will get into in just a minute. But we do have my 100,000 subscriber play button. This is actually the updated version. I have the old design, which is in my setup, which you will see in just a minute. But uh, I, I thought this one looked pretty good right here there's nothing else really too special in my room i guess on this side we, we mainly have just like my dresser uh god this this glare is annoying but uh, uh i i have my macbook on here i have some mice i have a bunch of like extra parts and stuff nothing too special in this corner but the macbook it, it is very nice i use it all the time i use it just regular at home to watch youtube or whatever i also use it to edit on the go a whole ton it has a it has an i7 clock that i believe 2.7 gigahertz since it is a laptop but overall extremely well and uh, very good at editing videos on the go i do have a collection of mice as well i'm kind of like the hype beast but for mice instead of like supreme you know i, I got the glorious model oh this one is the matte white version i believe it's uh 57 ounces or grams as well as two of the brand new final mouse ultralight 2 cape towns which uh, one of which i i haven't opened the other one i'm currently using it in my setup custom made which uh is very cool and uh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a second as well on my dresser I, I got like a soccer trophy yearbooks a bunch of other crap as well as some extra pc parts like uh two extra i7s i mean one of which is in my computer the i7 8700k i also have the i7 7700k just in case uh my motherboard like downgrades or whatever the, the story behind it is that i upgraded my motherboard and i kind of just had it you know my dog Roxy also chills on my bed right here literally every single day, all day. Uh, if you if you tune into my live streams at twitch.tv slash nexif, you'll, you'll probably hear her bark occasionally. And I mean, it's usually extremely loud because she's literally like five feet away from me. But I mean, she just kind of hangs out on my bed. She's kind of like the lookout for the house. I mean, she, she's just watching out the window for literally anybody who comes and uh, she, she just barks and uh, I guess scares them away. I, I really don't know. Moving away from the dresser right before my setup, I also have a little shelf with uh, my shoes, you know, just white and black bands, nothing too special, as well as the TV, which uh, which honestly, I, I have no clue when it was last on. I mean, I, I've had this forever, and I, I really, I literally do not watch any TV anymore. I also have an HTC Vibe. It's basically a VR, and that's what basically these black boxes are in the corner of the rooms. Uh, I stand in between my dresser as well as that TV, and uh, I, I really only play like Beat Saber on the VR. I sometimes play like other games like Hot Shot or whatever. A lot of fun. I do love the VR and I, I want to play it a lot more whenever I get a chance. Now moving on to the main part of the setup. The setup that everybody has been waiting for and uh, I, I'm sure it's the reason why you did click on the video. So we're going to begin on the gaming chair because uh, the gaming chair, it, I honestly, I, I feel like it makes the setup so much more complete. Ewan actually reached out to me and they did hook me up with this chair. So uh, if you guys are thinking of getting one yourself, make sure to use my code at checkout and uh, it'll give you a nice little discount. But overall, Overall, this is probably one of the best quality chairs I've ever sat in because at like Best Buy and stuff you'll see all these like racing chairs just out there and uh, a lot of them they're, they're not as good of quality as this one I'm gonna be honest I had a racing chair before this one and I mean literally everything was made out of plastic the armrests they were very very unsturdy and uh, the padding it, it was it wasn't comfy at all after a, a good amount of time of gaming or whatever but this chair I mean you, you could take off the headrest you could take off the little backrest easily you could put them wherever and the chair it still looks very good the chair also you can make it lay down so uh, if you want to take like a nap on the chair and overall just just amazing quality maybe your desk is uh, a little too short or whatever or too high you could raise and lower the chair as well as uh, the armrest and you can move the armrest forward and backward just the overall a, a very good chair I, I'm extremely happy that uh, they sent it to me and very satisfied and I suggest if you guys are looking for a racing chair of your own Ewin is definitely a, a reliable company to go with 
Now moving on from my gaming chair, which I increased my aim by 20%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got three 27 inch, 144 hertz curved uh, gaming monitors by MSI. They're actually the MSI Optics G27 C2. And they, they, they come with a pretty hefty price tag, but overall, I mean, they're extremely well for gaming and just about everything. The only thing I'm really bummed about is that my middle monitor, it's not a 240 hertz. That, that's kind of like my next upgrade. But overall, I am pretty satisfied. I don't see me getting rid of these anytime soon and uh, they do the job they're extremely well made and uh, they, they just help me out with editing so much more just because of their size and I mean 27 inch that that's a pretty big monitor if you think about it my keyboard as well I got the Corsair K70 RGB cherry switches I mean th this is by far my most favorite keyboard I've tested a lot I've tested out a lot of Razer keyboards a lot of uh, a lot of Corsair keyboards as well but the K70 is a uh, definitely the one that I stick with I mean I, I love it it's not too loud it's not too quiet the, the click is perfect and uh, you can customize it however you want I mean with the RGBs there's a lot of like different profiles to make it look pretty sick my mouse as well this one uh, sadly if you want to buy it right now if you don't have it already uh, it, people are reselling them on eBay for a lot of money but uh, this is the final mouse ultralight to Cape Town and uh, they, they sold out extremely fast from what I heard I mean I was able to get myself two of them I'm probably gonna resell one of them or hang on to it for a while but uh you could basically customize it however you want with this foam so on the on the side i have the the thinnest layer because i don't need the mouse extra wide you know uh the mouse is already pretty small as it is on the top the the very top top part i have a, a medium layer i think it's 1.2 millimeters and then on the back i have the the extra big layer which i believe is two millimeters and uh the, the cape town box it comes with multiple different like foams and stuff which you can kind of kind of change the size or however you want you know so I, I like the mouse it's overall but if you are looking for a mouse like this I suggest the glorious model O uh, it's very similar a little bit bigger than this size but it's perfect size and uh, extremely light as well the current webcam that I do use is a Logitech C920 and uh, it, it does the job perfect I mean it, it records in 60 FPS 120 FPS I believe it goes up to with a 1080p resolution which uh, I, I kind of downscale it to 1600 by 9 that way you have the, the stretched effect on the uh, I guess in the stream so it looks extra nice but uh, overall a, a very good and reliable camera I'm not gonna lie so a lot of people always ask about my mic and currently I'm using the blue Yeti which you do see in the setup but my old one was the blue snowball and uh, I, that, that mic treated me well I mean I had that mic since the beginning of my YouTube career and uh, I, I finally upgraded I really wanted to get the Audio Technica 2020 but uh, Sally uh, wherever I went to get it it was sold out so the blue Yeti was next in line and I am actually able to customize how it sounds since it is a USB output you can't really uh, get a mixer or whatever but you could use a volume mixer uh, in Windows and you could customize it to kind of however you want and I, I made it sound pretty well I mean that's kind of what I'm doing to record the audio right now so uh, I mean how does it sound I, I think it sounds nice now for a setup like this I mean you have to power it in some way and uh, that that's my computer I mean my computer it's pretty beefy I'm not gonna lie but I'm sure a lot of people they, they have even stronger computers mine's a little bit outdated I really want to do some upgrading soon but uh overall I, I really it, it does the job I mean it's extremely well made in here I got a GTX 1070 as well as an i7 8700k so a perfect combo for streaming as well as rendering and video editing I, I do want to get a Ryzen in the future as well as a 16 gigabytes of 3200 gigahertz um, RAM which are DDR4 of course RGB as well because I mean RGB let's be honest it, it looks pretty sick I do have some upgraded Corsair fan nothing too fancy I really do want to get it water cooled I'll probably get it water cooled whenever I do buy like an i9 as well as a 2080 Ti make that two or three now I'm just kidding I don't want to spend like 10k on a, a PC that would be that would be a little bit too much as well as a NZXT case which makes it just look even better with my little sticker on the side to uh, you know complete the entire setup the cable management is tight I also do have LED lights which are the, the sticky part it's not that sticky anymore so I use some tape uh, but it does the job I mean I don't really have them on in the daytime except the ones behind my bed um, but overall a, a pretty pretty clean cable management management setup except behind the monitors but you, you really don't see that when you're sitting there anyways that's why I really don't clean it up at all I also do have the OG version of the 100k play button literally up in the corner of uh, my, my room behind my monitors and I mean it absolutely looks sick I mean I, I love this design way more than the, the old
whole design overall i mean it just looks way better in a setup like mine on my floating shelf i, I really don't got anything too special i mean i got some wristbands from rlcs uh, gale force as well as the, just a regular world championship as well as one that says next if i also do just have like my wallet you know uh, I, I have some g fuel up there as well g fuel please sponsor me if you're watching this uh, I, I love i love g fuel you know but overall though that that completes my setup i am currently at 440,000 subscribers so uh, maybe i'll do another one of these at 1 million see uh, if it changed or whatever i honestly have no clue but make sure to go down in the comment section down below and drop a comment if you have uh, any ideas how my setup could be better or if you want some honest feedback on uh, how any of this equipment works further in depth also if you are wondering what anything else is in today's video everything all my specs everything is down in the description below so make sure to go check that out before asking me and uh, i will see you guys next time